What's that, Gajira? Support discussion again? How do you think of how do you think Gul'dan fares in comparison to other mages? I think he's the weaker scene being. I would go Draena, Chromie, Kalthas, and Liming over friend. Gul'dan from what I felt. I could be wrong. I hope I'm wrong because Gul'dan is an orc, and now he can go triple smork. Rexar three and a half. But I think he's weaker. But we're gonna have to wait and see. Oh, champions! Summer champions mount incoming. Ten pissed. Nice. Is it gonna be five dollars again? Is it gonna have money to the? Oh, nice. They're sharing with the team again. Ah, I'll I'll link that so people know what I'm talking about. How does Sonic make Nova work almost every time? Greetings, I guess he just plays friend. it pretty well. People aren't used to playing against her. And when people are used to playing against Nova, they uh, they aren't expecting a decent caliber Nova. Or a good caliber Nova. Plus, in theory, Nova can Let's counter fly. a number of characters fairly well. I bring pandemonium. Is Zul still up? No, he got banned. Locked and loaded. There we go with some Novo. Um, I think they're gonna get. Okay, wait. Do I want to do this or this one? Let's and Tracer, please. Don't want to go up against Tracer again. Thanks for the resub, Zombie Pirate. Nova Asmodan is a pretty strong combo because Asmo forces uh, split defense and Nova picks them off. So let's jam. Uh, Tracer would be fairly strong against Li Ming and Nova, and not bad against Asmodan too, except it takes her like ages to take him down. I will fight to my last breath. So, uh, Leoric, and then a support. Looks pretty good. Assuming you pick based on your team's hero comp, is there a best hero to help get out of Silver League? Yeah, um... You know, first of all, you've got to be really comfortable with the hero, and then it's got to work in the majority of situations. I am Shimando. If you truly flex pick every single time, you got to play a very large variety of different characters, which is okay, but it, you know, you're not going to be as good at many different characters as if you focus on a few. The few that you can focus on that can mostly work, regardless what your team pick, is uh, Zagara. <clears throat> Zagara and uh, Lily. Well, Lily to a degree. Like, you can add Lily as a second support in player damage, but I think at Silver League, people are going to freak out when you take Lily. Karazim, blind doesn't work here. Yita, guide my path. Um, I think uh, Nazibo is pretty good for Silver League carry games. Because uh, people will take loads My of damage. So let's say Zagara, Nazibo, um, Sonya, Thrall. But it, again, it, it assumes that you are like good enough to climb out of it. And like what I felt when I created a Smurf, I would be able to kill like multiple people with Sonya and never die. Greetings, friend. But then, after very few games, I would not be playing at silver level already. 
I feel like Zagara works in every single way. Like, right now, current patch, she is by far the best character at all levels, except maybe the super top. Ah, uh, guys, thank you. Insolence with the new sub. Welcome to the club. And Zahnbürste, which means toothbrush in German. 17 months already. Thanks, man. You have zero stuns for Chen. Um, yes, correct. So let's try to ignore Chen and focus everyone else. This is my house. Um, if you are really left alone as Sonya in silver, black Malachine, you should take no escape at 16. And you can even go for a leap as well. In fact, I would probably play a leap Sonya every time. I'm going to be going for Taste for Blood. Even if you don't have massive amounts of stacking, it's still going to be the better one in a longer game. Um, so you want to aim one Q early on and then another one. Unclear until my next Q. Okay. So I got uh, four stacks on that, which is pretty nice. I should probably be rotating together with Leoric. That was one stack. Should be two stacks. Not bad. Actually, when you say maybe, people never listen. You gotta be pretty forceful about it. Uh, he doesn't listen anyway. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> uh, a bit of disorganization in the uh, rotation. Yeah, Li Ming gets banned a lot because people don't dodge her spells, I guess. Yeah. And because she seems very destructive. In fact, Zul actually I forgot to mention Zul, dude. Zul is one of the Zul is one of the most OP characters in Silver as well. I'm gonna go for probably Gluttony here. Uh, the reason I don't go for Army of Hell because we don't really have that much blocking necessity. Poor Novo. Guess that was an easy one to defend for them. So, not that many stacks yet, but not too bad either. That was a nice amount of stacks. Nice lifesteal, very useful. I'm gonna get some mana. So we gave up the Punisher and it kills about a wall. But it's, uh, it's pretty okay because uh, it's all about getting a good late game anyway. Nice. 
nice. I'll give her some general health. Uh oh. Get Infernal Glove. I'll probably die if I stay here. I'll probably die if I don't stay here too. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, Leo is a nice team player. He's really helping me stack. But uh, a bit unfortunate that we ended up in a fight here. We should really focus focus on stacks over trades. This hurts my production a lot. Is Rexar worth learning? Green Hell yeah. Spread. It's a little bit hard to learn. Oh, Grubby, did you know you are on the homepage of client? Yeah. I know. Cool, right? Uh, stacks are gonna be more value than trades here. Thank you, Tam Goose. Bit too many trades. Uh, Chromie has her heroic now. Temporal loop. Probably temporal loop, yeah. And she's protecting herself with uh, the uh, time trap talent. What were you saying about Rexar? Yeah, Rexar is a little bit more difficult to play, but he's actually, I think, one of the top uh, warrior players, uh, warrior heroes. So he's very worth it to get good at. He's going to be very disruptive to an opponent team. So he probably has Wandering Keg. Just checking. Yeah. Uh oh. Kick me. Okay, always walk along in the same direction as the kick to get away, if possible at all. How many stacks do I have now? 148, not too bad at level 10. Why Rex are never playing tournaments? I think people are just a little bit too good at focusing the correct target, Rexar instead of Misha, in tournaments. Just like Morales is better uh, outside of tournaments than in. Yes, tickle tap, love it. out of mana don't chase a chen he's got keg again just go up here get one globe and then i'll have one more r and q to stack give a general health to this make it push a bit harder we're only a level down one fort down wandering keg is wasted I'm gonna go get some mana. I think we can cautiously team fight for this, actually. We can't give it away for free this time. It's okay to be talent down this time, I think. Otherwise, we'll give it for free forever. Oh, 
Of course, we just have to focus Chromie, not Chen. Damn, that was an important one. Nova's got the right idea. Nice palm. At least they're hurt, I guess. What do you think of the change region globes and well? Mm, I'm not sure yet. I need more time for that. I'm not that smart, so I need to get more hands-on experience with it. It seemed okay when I played it, but it's gonna have some possible ramifications that I uh, can't completely foresee. I'm gonna go with March of Sin here. Attack the bottom one a bit. Two hundred twelve stacks, not too bad, not too great. Uh oh, temporal. Oh man. We don't have cleanse either against Chromie. Ah, oh, that's Chromie. That's nice. This is a pretty good trade. <laughs> so close. Nice try, Lichter. Oh, wow. Nice try, Leo. That was, he almost had it. What are your chances of winning this game? I feel like people often give up too soon. Um, I think my chances to win this game is about 28%. What do you think about the catapult changes? Mm, I think it's okay. Uh, Li Ming doesn't get it. I re again, I don't know for sure. I need more data. I need more playing experience. I am a more of an instinctual player. I can't theory craft with full accuracy. Once we got 16, we've got a decent chance. Oh, wow. Nice. Oh, ho, ho, Chen. Oh, he missed his bomb. Oopsie. Oh, shit happens. go blood for blood but I was just too late I will get it I could have maybe lived on Chen now we killed someone but he doesn't show up in the death timer but rest assured he's quite dead no regar out yeah he used it on Fausta well we still got all keeps I would say our chances neither went up or down we got a three for two and they get the initiative here again uh. I'd say 20-30% chance. This objective is over. Need a 
few more stacks and I'll go defend. Mortar Punisher. One of the weaker ones. Three. Very nice. He wants more? <laughs> now we're only a level down. Oh. I will support you, mate. Oh, nice. Really good amount of greed. Really good. You, you want to maximize. Sometimes people say greed like it's only ever been used in a bad way. Like that is the correct amount of greed. Very nice. He saw a chance to get another kill. Oops. I didn't properly aim. Well, that cost me some stacks. Okay. We still have two dead. Of which spouse that one. If I see Chen, I will run immediately. Damn, son. Dunked. Powering forward. Retreat. Explosive shot, cute. Fifth circle should be pretty nice. <laughs> nice. I saw him waiting. It was so beautiful. Giggle. Ella giggle. here to help if he needs it but for now i will go back to get some mana so i can be of a greater influence in the oncoming campaign the oncoming onslaught tips on when to use asmodan's trait whenever people are busy on the other side of the map use it on the opposite if you need if you need uh, to fight If you need to fight, then of course you put it in the same lane. Yeah, probably we can try to end. It's not really about... Uh, like for now, now I'll put it in this lane. Because we've got Merc Camp here. Like, we're fighting with it. It's not about split push anymore. Boom! That's the Azmodan Nova combo, which not a lot of people know is a strong combination. But people that play quick match, they know. I think we can probably end it. I'm 
just gonna go for a spin. We may not be able to end it. Probably not. Uh, now it's important to stay alive or they can end it. Save as many as possible. Don't save each other. Well, she's killing Fausta. Good job. Okay, now we cannot lose anymore. I'm really glad that they did save each other and ignored me. It was my judgment, but it was wrong. And, you know, they're playing the characters they're playing. <laughs> so that was really good. Okay, okay, okay. All I wanted was to keep one or two people alive. Because in that way, we would be able to save our core. If we lose all four of us, in, in addition to me, they would be able to end the game. Killing one and losing no one is... A naughty dream. Uh, it's a desire that I would, did not wish to, did not dare to voice. Sick moves, guys. Nice job. Nicely, Ori. All right, I'm 390. I'm nearing my max. I think we can play it kind of cool. Like, I'm not gonna risk myself for Leoric, that's for sure. <laughs> he turned on Hardened Shield too late, Chen! Too late. Also too late. Bam. So now always put your general of hell in the catapult lane because um, it can help to help the katas push. Oh, I'm too far. Four with three. Keep putting the general there. Let, have them overlap. You don't want to miss a single second cooldown because it's going to be a monster push. March of the Black King in 11. Well, that's a very welcome news. I welcome that. Yes. Oh, I thought I activated Blood for Blood, but I was out of range. Either way, it was enough. Okay, now I'm gonna go get some mana. So... Yeah, Chromie went to defend. That means she's not killing us. That's a good thing. That's what the General of Hell is amounted to in the end. You saw that Nova was moving in because Chromie was 60% life from the minion wave. But then... Uh, <laughs> Because uh, she healed up from Rhaegar, he decided not to anymore. It's actually, it looks like he's gonna snipe this. He has explosive shot, which is a... Uh, it's a Nova wave clear talent. You can laugh if you want. Right. Decent march. Pretty nice damage on Sonya. Wanna try not to get hit too much by Chromie. Okay, that's Chen dead. Nice. We don't have stuns, but we've got loads of damage. Oh, come on. Frank or Z? Frank or Z? <laughs> Everybody, let's jam now. Welcome to the space jam. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh man. Well, so basically, Asmo is Chromie, 
but with three times the health pool, but he takes longer to come into effect. Space Jam. And now we're rank 66, which is pretty damn appropriate after we play Asmodan, Lord of Hell, Lord of Sin. Uh, we had no stuns, so I had to kill him between drink. Why is Asmo Nova combo good? Well, think about it like this. Do you guys remember towards the end of the game when I kept putting General of Hell at the top lane on the catapult lane? What did Chromie do? Just ask yourself. Because we was fighting Sonya, Vega, Falstaff. There was two dead. And Chromie was defending the top wave. What does that mean? If Nova wants to, she can solo Chromie because of Asmodan push. And that has many different applications all throughout the game. It's the split push of Asmodan and also the fact that he can clear a wave from a very large distance that forces people to continually solo defend various different lanes. If they don't, they will take massive siege damage. Asmo, after you stack him up, is a valid team fighter. But he has the bonus of his trait, and Nova can capital a good Nova can capitalize on that kind of divide and conquer strategy. It doesn't seem apparent right away. Like Tassadar and Tracer are a very easy combo to see why it works. Leeching plasma, lots of shields. Tracer is more hard to kill. End of story. Tracer has weak wave clear, but a good killer of heroes. Tassadar has the wave clear, but Asmo and Nova. Honestly, I played a lot of quick match games before. Wait, what should we ban? And also uh, some early ranked games. And anytime the going gets tough, I go with the tough. So there'll be like a Nova Zero on my team. I had that before on Infernal Strikes. It was like Nova first pick, second pick uh, Uther, third was Zeratul. And I was like, what the hell is this? So I took Asmo because I know that kind of confusion can be conducive to cloaked assassins. I need to play it a bit safer. I think it's a horrifying you game. Training. Your death will be a kill. He's gonna get slowed soon. Um, if I'm too near, I will die. I don't like doing the boss here. I prefer to get minions. Uh, 